Now let's turn to the latest news coming out of Zambia. The country's president, Edgar Lungu, has been re-elected in a closely contested vote. This according to the country's electoral commission. Lungu secured 50.35% of the vote. That's just over the 50% threshold needed to avoid a second round under the new electoral system. His main rival, Hakainde Hichilema, who alleges electoral fraud, won 47.67%. Now, the vote counting process after Thursday's election took days and has prompted opposition allegations of irregularities. Election observers have urged for calm. The election followed a tense campaign marred by street clashes. The voting day was mostly peaceful. Lungu, who took office in January 2015 after the death of President Michael Sata, won a tight election over Hichilema last year. Well, for more on this, we're joined now from neighboring Zimbabwe by CCTV's Farai Makutoya, who has, of course, been following events very closely there in Zambia. Um, well, of course, Farai, another election lost for Hakeinde Hichilema. Edgar Lungu wins. Was this expected? Well, what was projected ahead of this uh, race in which you've made reference to is the fact that it would be a tight race and it proved to be just that. Not much to choose between the two candidates in terms of, you know, if you look at the numbers that they uh, commanded at their rallies, if you look at their campaign strategies, more or less the same. But I suppose what many people expected to work in Edgar Lungu's favor was the fact that he was the incumbent, the fact that the, his ruling PF party had a track record, had done things and was able to say this is what we've done this is what we've achieved and so uh, be able to ask for a renewed mandate which the opposition couldn't uh, and so if that was to be the difference then perhaps that was just it Still and of course know. as as you say uh, this is a very tight election indeed it suggests then that Zambia as a nation is more divided now than it was before the election Well, what will be interesting is over the next few days to see what happens because, uh, as you make reference there, the opposition leader, Hakainde Hichilema, saying, look, uh, he believes that he won this election uh, and he's asking the people of Zambia to decide what they do next. Uh, the tough assignment now for Edgar Lungu is to try and reconcile the nation, to bring it together. But what he's been preaching throughout his campaign is that Zambia is one people, one Zambia, one nation. And, and this is the tough task that awaits him now to be able to bring everyone together, to galvanize them, and to be able to get them to buy into his uh, you know, campaign manifesto, the promises he's made to continue rolling out infrastructure development, to be able to steer this country through the very difficult economic times that it's facing now into a more prosperous and better future. All right, we'll leave it there. Thanks very much for that update. Farai Mokutuya joining us there from neighboring Zimbabwe. Now, on the same election, we spoke to our correspondent, Clementine Logan, a little earlier. She's got the reaction from Lower Zambezi in Zambia. Well, here in the Lower Zambezi, as in other parts of the country, people have been waiting for results as they were trickling in in an election that for a while seemed too close to call, and for some the results come as little surprise. It's almost mixed with a sigh of relief that after quite a wait, life can now continue. Some simply want the government to begin tackling the multitude of economic challenges the country is facing. Others, though, like the opposition, have voiced suspicion over how long it took the Electoral Commission of Zambia to release the final results and tell us that they suspect foul play. The opposition UPND has, of course, gone as far as accusing the ECZ of colluding with the ruling party and um, allegations that they both deny. The US UPND has made no secret, though, of its plans to challenge the result if not in their favour. And so some have braced themselves for this moment. And it now seems that another waiting game has begun, and that's to see whether the outcome will be peaceful or if tensions will rise across the country as the opposition disputes the result. And that's something that many Zambians I've spoken to say they're keen to avoid. Well, if after the recount or verification of the votes has been done and Edgar Lungu has announced the winner, only then can the UPND officially challenge the election result. And once they do that, we understand the winner cannot be sworn in until Zambia's constitutional court has ruled on the matter. Now, it's likely the opposition might take this track, although it risks being a drawn-out process and could exacerbate the feeling of instability in the country. When we spoke to the opposition party the day after the vote, 
their spokesman told us that if they deemed the process not credible and if the ruling patriotic front refused to hand over power, uh, that the Zambian people wouldn't accept this and there would be trouble, he said, in the country. So another potential option might be a mass mobilization of its supporters on the streets. And part of the reason the UPND is insisting on challenging the results from the ECZ is because it says, based on its own parallel counting system, hacking into Hichilema beat Edgar Lungu with what they said was a clear margin, based on about 80% of votes counted. It also alleges, of course, irregularities in several areas, including the key districts of Lusaka, which, together with the Copper Belt region, makes up around a third of the total vote. So it certainly doesn't seem that the opposition is going to take this outcome lying down.